The UAE is driving the uptake of electric vehicles in the Middle East. But how long before commercial fleets are electrified? My name is Neha and this is Dennis Daniel. Welcome to Construction Week in Focus. So Dennis, are regional operators warming up to electric commercial fleets? Yes, this January, B announced that it placed an order for 50 Tesla semi-trucks and they expect to put these trucks into operation in the UAE market by 2020. Is Tesla the only manufacturer driving electric commercial vehicles in the sector globally as well? Or are there other manufacturers that are also a part of the market now? What we've been seeing is during the past six months, several big manufacturers globally have been making announcements about when they're going to be launching electric trucks into the market. Tesla announced their semi-truck in November. Before that, we had the likes of Navistar, we had Volkswagen, Daimler Group, and then we had Thor Trucks announced. All these announcements were made in 2017. In 2018, January alone, we had three big names, Volvo, Renault, and Via Motors and Geely, announced that they are currently developing medium-duty electric trucks and they will be put into operation in the market in 2019. There seems to be a rejuvenated interest in electric commercial vehicles. What are the causes behind this? What are the applications and benefits of this sector? From the current development of medium-duty trucks that we're seeing, manufacturers offering anywhere between 250 to 400 kilometers on a single charge. That would mean the applications would be urban transportation, it would be anywhere between intercity logistics, uh, retail, delivery, uh, because these would fit very well within the short haul trucking limit. So what is the roadmap for electric commercial fleets in the Middle East? For complete adoption of electric vehicle technology, what we need are policies, regulations, the implementation of these policies, the right financing and the technology. Regionally, what is the state of the policies that will govern electric fleets? The UAE is a signatory to the Paris Agreement and in order to meet those goals, they have already started launching several initiatives. One of the popular ones is the Dubai Green Mobility Initiative. And from 2018 onwards, we're going to see Euro 4 standards, emission standards being enforced in the UAE. So in the UAE or even across the region, is the infrastructure in place to meet these goals? Yes, if you look at the UAE, uh, Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Sharjah, they're all building charging stations all over the Emirates. Uh, Deva already has 100 charging stations in the UAE. And by 2018, they hope to increase that to 200. Oman recently announced that it has built 12 charging stations in three cities and they expect to increase that to at least 50 by the end of 2018. That's all for now. Thanks very much for watching Construction Week in Focus. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you next week.